Hey guys, welcome back. All right, this week we're going to be making some owls for Valentine's Day. So they will look like this. Um, so we're gonna be drawing these together and then coloring them. You can see I used some colors that you wouldn't typically see on an owl. So we're gonna have fun with color today. And then we are going to watercolor the background. All right, so you guys can get those supplies together and we will start on our owls. All right, so I have my paper ready to go and I'm gonna start with Sharpie again. As always, you guys can start with a pencil and then trace your lines later. So we are going to start with a nice large U-shape for our owl. So I'm gonna start right about here on my paper, pull my line down, start to curve, and then go back up, okay? Now that I have my U-shape, I'm gonna add another curve right about here I'm gonna start on one end of this line and then go towards the other. So owls don't necessarily have ears, but they do have feathers that kind of stick up like this, okay? So that's why we added those kind of points. Next, we're gonna move on to the eyes. We're gonna do two large circles for our large owl eyes. I'm gonna do one right here and one over here. And then we're gonna do two circles inside of those circles. So. One right here, and one right here. And color them in. All right, now that we've done that, our owl needs a beak. So we're gonna start with a capital A shape for our beak. So I'm just gonna go slant up, slant down. Then I'm gonna close that to create a triangle. And then underneath it, I'm gonna do the letter V so we can create this nice beak for our owl. Now that we've done that, we added some feathers for some fun texture in our class. So to do that, we just kind of made little upside down rainbows or U's that are connected. So I just, U repeated, just like that. I'm gonna do about three lines of that. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and add our feet. So I'm gonna do a line down and line down. And then on either side of this line, I'm gonna take a slanted line down so that we have three little toes. All right, now our owl just needs some wings. So we have did our wings open. Uh, so what we're gonna start with is a line that kind of curves out into the edge of our paper you can go all the way to your edge and it can kind of go off if you don't have much space, that's fine. It's really good if you are touching the edges of your paper because that's mean you're, you're drawing nice and large and you're taking up space, which is great. And then we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. Okay, now that we have the two lines out for our wings, we are going to create um, kind of a feathered line. So we're gonna pull down and do kind of the shape like we did right here the line. I'm going to curve, curve, curve. All right. And the same thing over here. One, two, three. If you have space to do more than just three, of course you can add more. All right. Now that we have our little owl done, he's so cute. kind of looks like a baby owl. Uh, we're going to add a little branch for him to stand on. So I'm just going to take a line across the paper. It does not have to be perfectly straight. Mine's kind of, I'm just letting it kind of pull across the paper because uh, tree branches aren't perfectly straight. So there we go. And since we are doing these for, as kind of um, a Valentine owl, uh, we're going to add some hearts up at the top. So we practiced a heart last week, but just to kind of refresh, I like to start in the middle, do an arch, and then slant back towards the middle. And the same thing on the other side, okay? So go back to the top, arch, and pull right back down to that line, okay? I'm gonna do at least three, but you can always add more if you would like. All right, and there we go. That is the drawing. Next, we are going to add some color. So I have uh, some oil pastels I'm gonna use today. Um, and I'm going to stick with, um, some pinks. Okay. Uh, some oranges 
and some red and even some purple. I'm just gonna kind of go on the theme of Valentine's and this, these colors make me think of Valentine's Day. Um, and oh, I did get my orange, okay. Uh, so our next step, I am going to color all this and I will speed that up a bit. Uh, you can do multiple colors for your owls and he does not have to be the typical color of an owl. That's why we're kind of making it fun and a little different today. All right, I'm gonna get started. All right, so I got my owl all colored. I kept mine pretty simple, but I did use quite a few different colors to make him nice and bright. And then I did some brown for the branch. Um, now, if you don't have oil pastels, this is just what I had next to me and I wanted to use. Um, but if you have any other kind of fun uh, supply at home that you haven't been able to use on an art project yet, maybe you could use something like that for this today and make it a little bit more fun. All right, so next what we're going to do, is we're gonna paint the background with watercolors. So I have my water cup right over here and my watercolors and you guys can just kind of decide what you want to do for your background. So I think I'm going to use, no, I think green could even look kind of nice. So I think I'm going to use some green. So let me start with this darker one over here. Maybe I'll go from dark green to light green. slowly paint. Now in class we do do this project over three different class times so if you just want to do a little bit of this project one day maybe do the drawing and tracing one day maybe another day do the coloring and then um, the final day you could do the painting or if you want to do it all in one sitting that's fine too. I'm going to speed the rest of this little bit up. Okay, and my owl is all done. I got the background all painted. All right, so I can't wait to see y'all's, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your week. I'll see y'all next week.